Just doesn't. Anyway, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Movie Magic Show for Wednesday, the 21st of September 2022. I'm one of your hosts, Shane Bailey, joined by my wickedly talented cast. To my right, he loves it. Oh, no, it's the film for lating, TV show hating, thought elaborating, Mr. Movies, Ben Stapleton. Hey, I'm first. Yeah, I know. That threw me off because you're usually on the end there. Yeah. But um, how are you, Ben? Yeah, good, Shane. Good. That's good, good. And to his right, See, now it's, 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 it's throwing me off again. Yeah. Um, he loves VR and shaking his hips like Shakira. Please welcome the era, the Animazing, Jason Mira. Hello, hello. How are y'all? How are you, Jace? Oh. Your, your camera whole shot is very vibrant today, Jace. You've got the lights in the background. You're looking tanned. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Yeah. I have been spending a lot of time in the sun. I've been um, driving around uh, from point A to point B a lot. So I've been up there. Nice. Is that, a, is that a polo you're wearing? I'm it's wearing like a polo. polo. Yeah, I haven't changed from polo. You're a schmick. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Solly and Chad, thanks for the hydrate. Oh, Everyone hydrate. Uh, but yes, I've been, uh, been a very busy, very busy boy. Nice, nice. Good to hear. Um, anyway, we are sans the dulcet tones today, but um, hopefully you can be back next episode. If you're tuning in for the first time, this is the Movie Magic Show. Once a month, we chuckleheads go live to live to love. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that threw me off as well. Go live to love, like, bash, and trash the latest the entertainment world has to offer. If you like that, follow us here on Twitch to catch the show live. You can catch all our past reviews on at my youtube channel just search magic cast one word on youtube to see all the vods from our past reviews including our uh, review triple r review which currently has 8.8 thousand views can you believe it ridiculous i, I literally can't I'm, absolutely I'm, ridiculous i'm gonna go troll through the comments and and find what else they're commenting on track, track these people down interrogate <laughs> there's a like, there's a lot of comments in there there's a lot of comments in there um Based off the usernames, I can only surmise that most of them are South Asian. And they're, they're all recommending, it's like, if you love that, you need to watch this movie. That that shot that you mentioned about the catapulting the people in the air with a phalanx band, like that's yeah, from that's this exactly director's right. previous movie. We have to watch that movie. Really? So now I'm just like, we've cornered a market here. Not that we cornered it, but like, you know, this is a this could be a growth, you know, path for us. Yeah. We just focus on these Tollywood, Bollywood movies. Could be good. Yeah, but I did, we did get torn apart for um, calling it a Bollywood movie in the um, in the review. I fixed the thumbnail and the YouTube title, but it's a Tollywood movie. Yep. Pardon me, Telugu Tollywood film. Um, anyway, follow us as well on Twitter at Movie Magic Show. We'll notify you when we're going live and which films are going to be reviewing. Speaking of films, we're going to be reviewing this week. We've got a another trio, a bevy of films coming your way. Uh, we're revisiting Avatar from two thousand and nine. Its sequel is mere months away. James Cameron's sci-fi epic continues the, uh, later this December. So we're going to revisit the 2009 film. We're also reviewing Private Life, which is a Netflix original starring Paul Giamatti, oh, one of my favorites, and Catherine Hahn. Uh, and also there's a new film out called Where the Crawdads Sing, a, um, a book adaptation. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty good. So we're going to review that as well. Um, before we get to that, though, we need to set up our end games. These games we like to play with you at the end of the show. So feel free to play along in chat. First among them are going to be our film quotes. We're going to give you two two quotes from two separate films. You need to guess which films they're from. I defer to Mr. Movies Ben Stapleton for movie quote number one. I realise now I put a typo in the quote that I sent to you, Shane. Anyway, here we go. Oh, no. Mama. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Well, now you're going to have to buy it. It's a used gun. Oh, I know it. Oh, nice. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Sorry, Jess, can you go again? I think you're out of sync. Talk, talk to me. Uh, uh, so... No, you're good. Never mind. I think it was just a bit of a delay. All okay. good. <laughs> um, and now I uh, am coming at you with movie quote number two, except I need to find it. Ah, here it is. <clears throat> two part up. If all I ever gave you was a hammer, everything's a nail. I know that. Two people. If all I ever gave you was a hammer, everything's a nail. That does ring a bell. Mm, I've got backups. I've got backups. Anyway, those are our film quotes. They're going to scroll by in the ticker below. If you know what they're from, let us know in chat. And the other game we like to play is Six Degrees. We're going to give you two actors. You need to try and connect them via actors they have starred alongside. The Animazing Jason Mira has our pairing this evening. Um, so um, I have chosen Willem Dafoe. We need to link Willem Dafoe to Sandra Bullock. Willem. Mm. Dafoe! Mm. To Sandra. Willem Bullock. 
<laughs> uh, nice, nice. Yeah. Anyway, uh, connect those in chat, guys, and let us know how many degrees it takes for you to connect them. Um, and we're going to give you answers to all those at the end of the show. Before oh. we get to the end of the show, yeah. let's get to the start of the show with our first review. It is going to be of Where the Crawdads Sing. Let me just make sure I get the topic up on the screen for everyone. Um, pardon me. Where is it gone? There it is. Uh, Where the Crawdads Sing is a 2022 American mystery thriller romantic drama film based on the 2018 novel of the same name by Delia Owens. It was directed by Olivia Newman from a screenplay by Lucy Alibar, who was the writer of the Oscar-nominated 2020, pardon me, 2012 film Beasts of the Southern Wild, and was produced by Reese Witherspoon and Lauren Neustadter. Daisy Edgar Jones leads the cast as Kaya, also features Taylor John Smith as Tate, or one of the sexiest men you've ever, you've ever ever seen in your life. Harris Dickinson as Chase, Michael Hyatt as Mabel, Sterling Mesa Jr. as Jumpin', and David Strathan as Kaya's lawyer Tom. We saw David Strathan in Nightmare Alley recently. He is also uh, the son of a bitch of Noah Vosen in Born Ultimatum. Yeah. The story follows an abandoned yet defiant girl, Kaya, who raises herself to adulthood in a North Carolina marshland, becoming a naturalist in the process. When the town's hotshot is found dead, she is the prime suspect and tried for murder. Uh, it is set across 50s, 60s, Ben, from memory. Um, yes. Uh, the film was released in the United States on July 15, 2022 by Sony Pictures, releasing under Columbia Pictures. It received mixed reviews from critics who praised Edgar Jones's performance and the cinematography, but found the film's overall tone inco incoherent. Audience okay. reception was more positive, and the film became a box office success, grossing nearly $127 million worldwide on a $24 million budget. American singer-songwriter Taylor Swift wrote and performed the original song Carolina for the film's soundtrack. Uh, as we just mentioned, audiences like this one, 7.1 from 31,000 users on IMDb, while the critics are more uh, critical of this one, 43 Metascore. Rotten Tomatoes, gents. Jason, without having seen it, take mm. a stab in the dark. I'm going to go with 72. 60? I don't know. It sounds like... I, I don't want it to be 60, but... Oh, God, you, you do want it to be 60, Ben, because oh. it's actually 33% rotten. Oh, wow. Okay. I know, right? Wow. Oofed. Oofed. Oof, indeed. Wow. Anyway. Uh... I just saw this one last night, but Ben, your viewing was a while ago, I want to say. Yeah, it was a few weeks now, I think. Yeah, about three nice. weeks. Nice. So, Ben, we know how much you love book adaptations into films. Tell <laughs> us your thoughts on where the crawdads sing. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Every <laughs> every movie you've ever seen has pretty much come from a book. In this some, is true. some way or form. Um, my dad recommended this one to me. So, he was... How do I put... Nice. This, how do I make a pun out of it? It's usually the other way around. My dad sing. My, yeah, I don't know. Something about crawling out, <laughs> singing praises. Your dad crawled the... Oh sung God. the praises of this. Yeah. He, he said... Anyway, yeah. He didn't... Okay, but, but... But I later learned, after watching it and saying, you were right, that movie was great. I liked it too. And he's like, oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> he never fucking watched the movie. He just, Steve. He just heard on the street from someone oh, that was good. Man. He's like, oh... Ben loves movies, I'll go and tell him all about it. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so it's like, you know. Oh my god. So that's how that I so came good. to watch it. Because I was like, alright, I'll go. I'll go. If, you, if you like it, I'll, I might like it too. But yeah, maybe, um, well, now it's gone the other way around. I actually enjoyed it. So I said to him, and then he said, oh, I can mm. watch it. I said, well, you should. Because I quite liked it. It was a um, mm. breath of fresh air in a way. Um, I don't know what uh, critics are talking about there. Shane, when you said they, what did, what did incoherent words? tone, Ben? Yes. Incoherent tone. Incoherent tone is a very interesting puzzle to solve. There, um, look, it was alright. the The problem with Crawdads is, um, it's a movie that you just talk about the ending. I thought you were going to tell us about the birds for a second. <laughs> Listen, the problem with the Crawdads. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the problem with the movie where the crawdad scene is um, you can't talk about it without spoiling it. Well, you can't really get into it without spoiling it because there's this there's this everything just pivots at the end. It's like a mm. you know it's it's yeah. not like a huge twist or a, or you know it's not like that. But mm. it, it the whole movie is wondering what's going to happen at the end and 
how did we get here and all that fun stuff. So the movie takes place in in flashbacks because we're in trial for um, Kaya's life. She's um, she's on trial for murder and uh, she's on trial with a jury of her peers and it's it's illustrated very clearly that she's an outcast and none of her peers like her. She's she's the swamp girl and nobody really she doesn't have any friends nobody really likes her and now everybody thinks that she's a murderer um and the trial is being set in her town so she's got buckley's chance of you know having a fair shake um of the weight of the evidence and all that kind of stuff Mm. but but that's the context and then it's basically just how did we get here flashback to childhood flashback to adolescence flashback to young adulthood all that kind of fun stuff throughout the film as we periodically shift back to the present and and go through the various um you know parts of the trial Ste- the various steps of the trial yeah yeah the various um examinations of witnesses and the presentation of the evidence and and we're kept kept in the dark as to what actually happened and oh, you know what i was kept in the dark until i'm so stupid with movies un- until way late way past halfway did I realize who had actually been killed? Like who she's accused <laughs> of killing? I thought she had been accused of killing Tate, her beau, her best friend for whatever. Mm. Um, the, mm. the only person that she like became friends with and they fell in love or whatever. I, 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 whatever, you know, love story. But I, for the longest time, thought that he was the one that was killed because I'm terrible with names in movies and they were talking about chase and i'm like oh chase must be the boy from before <laughs> like that kind of thing but chase is a different boy to tate even though they both got that same we're going skiing this summer to Krakenridge or Breckenridge or whatever name that you hate to hear that you just wish people didn't have sorry to all the tates and chases out there but um <laughs> it was too similar for me and i got completely lost and then it was like a it was like a little revival of it was like a little mini twist I was like, "Oh, it's not the, it's not the boyfriend <laughs> that's that's been murdered." Because oh god. So, yeah, I had that where I wasn't supposed to. The the filmmakers didn't want me to have a revelation. <laughs> yeah, you, you're on your own experience yeah. in your own movie. <laughs> As to who the victim was. <laughs> no, oh, I don't want to be Shane. The, the 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 detective said like he was um, he was good looking and he was popular and he and 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 the right the the Tate kid, like you said. The most handsome man you'll ever feast your eyes on. Kind of Gorgeous. Thing. Specimen. Amazing. Yeah. Ridiculous. And mm. he was, um, they said something about him being into sports, as well, like a like a football star. And he was right. the football star. He was going to go on a scholarship or something. And um, that was going to be his meal ticket. He would use his, oh, am I getting this right? Yeah. He was going to get into a university by playing football for them and then become a scientist at the same time. So he's... He's got his head on straight. He knows that, you know, you don't just play football until you break your leg and they get picked for the whatever team that that pays you away for the rest of your life. You you fail mm. and then you go back to your studies. That's what his plan was. Anyway, look, I liked the uh, Daisy Edgar Jones actress. I liked the Kayla John Smith actor. Um, I love the David um, Strathan, Str- Strath- Strathan guy. Mm. He's amazing. Mm. Um I hadn't seen any of the stars before, and so that was, I don't know, take it for what it's worth. It's like, on one thing, on one hand, um, you don't put characters that they've been before into their shoes here in this mm. movie, and they, they, their character can just speak for themselves. On the other hand, yeah. um, I don't know, I just didn't think that the Taylor John Smith guy was that great, though I don't know. Was that his character? Was that him? Was it, uh, you know, if I've seen him in other mm, things, I know he's a good actor, yeah. I know it's his character. Mm. Um, look, it's funny you mentioned just like the the not being able to recognize the actors because they're all new to us. Um, I remember having this exact same feeling for Alicia Vikander in Ex Machina and noting that, you know, her build, her facial structure, like she's very, she's like a Natalie Portman esque actress. Hmm. Um, and, but if you put Natalie Portman in that role in Ex Machina, it's a completely different vibe because you're thinking about her as Padme or in Black Swan or something like that, right? Yeah, you're right. Um, 
And it's funny that Daisy Edgar Jones for me is like a dead ringer for Alicia Vikander. It's like the exact same feeling that I'm having in 2022 as I did for Ex Machina back in 2014 or whatever. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. She's the new, the, the third iteration of Natalie Portman. She's, yeah, Vikander the third, or yeah, Portman the third, yeah. we can say. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know, Shane, did you have this thought? I just kept thinking this entire time, she lives in a fucking swamp. Why is she not like covered in mosquito bites and stuff like this whole time? She's like, why are people yeah. doing that every three seconds yeah. throughout this entire film? Like, she's in the swamp. The townspeople are next to the swamp. The swamp inhabits their life. And yet nobody is destroyed by insects throughout the whole... That's, that was my... I don't know. That was my big thing that I just kept coming back to. I was like, her front door is wide open. Like, she's going to walk in there. There's going to be a million moths everywhere inside. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But she's just... I think I did, like, young, little Kaya, young Kaya... When she's you know when she's a child, mm-hmm. firstly, she she did a great job, like as a child child yeah, actress, I she was awesome. Um, she was definitely more ruffled and dirty. I think that was done to illustrate like when she attempts to go to school for the first time, she's definitely more disheveled than everyone else. She gets picked on. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas yes, Daisy Edgar Jones, adult, young adult Kaya was a David Jones model. You know, yeah, <laughs> like, she was immaculate most of the time. all the time. All her mm-hmm. clothes completely spotless ironed somehow and yeah. um she, she reminded me of like um summer out of 500 days of summer you know like that sort of style very airy fairy yeah anyway yeah so so uh, i had that kind of realism thing tapping on mm. the back of my head this whole time i'm like man she should just look terrible she should have huge hairy armpits and hairy legs and well, you know everything she's all the swamp things all the swamp things but she's not <laughs> like she didn't have electricity for like the first 25 years of her life um she's getting around barefoot for the first 25 years of her life too she doesn't really have a pair of shoes for the first for ages uh and then she doesn't you know care to wear them anyways and she's running around the swamp the whole time it's, it's crazy um i'm glad that that we're not living in a smell of vision kind of <laughs> kind of world there, Shane. Yeah. Remember when people were thinking about what the future of entertainment's going to be like? And... Mm, scent. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. 4D. 4D crap. No. What are you guys thinking? There's movies about people with swamps. You know, mm. no one see those in the 4D. Um, look, I don't have many other thoughts about this except it was um, put together well. It was edited very well. I was there the whole time. I never mm. just dr- drifted off and looked at my watch. I never um, found myself daydreaming. I was always trying to solve the puzzle i was always feeling the emotion that the the scene was trying to put me through and for that reason i liked the movie quite a lot i do remember saying a lot of things to caitlin afterwards uh about the ending but i don't want to say what happens at the end and repeat those things but there was a big discussion which i really enjoyed having again Mm. props to the movie about what that ending really meant for the rest of the telling of the moral of the story um without going into any further i'll just say um every man in this movie is just a outright jerk it's like kaya is the center of goodness or something like Mm. she's just an innocent person and just is constantly shrugging off the shit of mankind and an emphasis on man the mankind because there's only two other nice people one of them is the other woman in the movie and one of them is a, is a, a bloke but apart from that yeah all the people that get close to her are just to for my mind just jerks and mm. um then i thought after watching private life which we'll talk about soon that it's the complete opposite to private life which i thought was great it's like the opposite side of this coin um because i'm about to say in private life that every woman is nuts in private life fucking <laughs> <laughs> crazy but we'll uh we'll get to that one Nice. Curious what you uh, thought, Shane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can I get your verdict, Ben? Is it a don't bother, don't rush, or don't miss it? I would say don't miss it. I liked it quite a lot. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, for me, uh, I, I, I landed a similar boat. Like I, like I said, I'll chat to you guys about it before. Like I left it really late. I watched it last night. There was only one session. Um, it wasn't at my preferred cinema, so it was a, a bit of a further drive. Um, the cinema quality there isn't nearly as good as the cinema I prefer. Um, and I got there, I was the only person in the cinema. I'm just like, oh my goodness, sitting in this terrible, like, you know, 
cramped seat compared to my beautiful event cinemas VMAX that I long for. Um, yes, so all of that was working against it. It was going to finish at 11. I was going to get home late. I was like, oh, I've got to get up early in the morning. This is going to be horrible. Um, but the movie had me hooked. It was, it's not going to win any Oscars, but this, this was, this was like just a great dramatic thriller. This was like a, this was, it kind of reminded me of like the same feeling I get with Age of Adeline. Not that they're remotely similar, but just like, what a great, what a great story. I w- I'm so glad I've watched this. I'm so glad that I'm now able to be like, you know what? This is a great movie. Hi- like if you want to go, if you need something to watch in the cinemas right now, pick this movie. If you're happy to wait, d- definitely check it out once it hits streaming services. Like it's one of those like, yes, don't, it's going to be a don't miss it for me as well. Get around to it. Um, it hits. It, it does exactly what the cover says, essentially. Um, for me, I'll, very similar sh- shoes to you, Ben. I was trying to. I was trying to piece together the puzzle. The, the film does a great job of planting the seeds in your mind. It's like, okay, note this down in the back of your mind that we're on the lookout for. You know, it's like red cotton or wool that's tied to the victim's body, and so keep that in your mind. So the next time you see something with red, red cotton or wool, that maybe that's gonna that's gonna trigger for you. Um, and uh, yeah, for, for me, I I also loop back to what I love about. Um, Aaron Sorkin films as well, and that is characters with just such deep-seated integrity. They are just the best in our world, and Strathan's character of Tom, the lawyer, embodies that perfectly. Kind of reminded me of Idris Elba's character in Molly's Game as well. Just there to to do the right thing to support someone who um, can use their service and they're doing it because it's just the right thing to do. I really, I really love that, that character arc. Um, and again, without going to spoilers, like you said, Ben, I love, there are some great instances of foreshadowing scattered throughout this film as well. Um, that once you have finished the film, you look back on, you think, holy crap, I didn't even realize they were hinting at that when this character said that line or when, you know, this little story beat happened. And I was, it, it, yeah, it was it was kind of like one of those. Yeah, now that you know the twist, holy crap! These are all the little hints that they gave. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. I wish that we could we could dive into spoilers, but we can chat about this after after the show. Um, yeah. So for me, it, it's it's clearly a don't miss it. I think it's um it's great. Uh, it's funny. I, I was mentioning to uh, colleagues at work today when we went out to get coffee um, that I'd seen it last night, and one of them um, had just finished reading the novel um, and as part of like their their little book club. Um, and like they, me describing their feel, my feelings for the film, they said, "Oh, I, I'm now compelled to go to go watch the movie as well." So, um, it sounds like there, there there are some key differences between the book and the movie in the sense that um, there's like a uh, there's like a full part of me like subplot or thread that might imply that um, Jumpin, the character of Jumpin, who's like the the um, convenience store clerk that re- is really supportive of Kaya might be um, a potential um, suspect in the murder as well, which really oh, isn't yeah, a thing yeah. here in the in the film. Um, and that angle was more like he understands that her family has up and left her and she's all alone and kind of like a I will do anything to protect you sort of angle. So that, that exists in the book where that kind of doesn't exist in the film here. So I thought that was interesting. Um, but yeah, just on the film by itself, I think it's a gem. Um, I think it's something that I'll be recommending to family and friends for a long time and and something that, yeah, I'll it'll definitely be on the rewatch list. Um, just like Age of Adeline is. Like I watch that film probably every 18, 24 months, I'd say. Um, just one of those good old reliable, just, you know, I know I'm going to have a good time watching this movie. One of those ones, you know? It's, a feeling. Ones. it's like a feeling you want to get back to. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's not an intellectual you know it's going to hit you again. You know, because mm. you, you know the ending and you know the twist. Yeah, and you know the that's stuff, it. Whatever it is yeah. in the movie. That's it, yeah. But you just want to 100%. get back there and, and spend some time with those characters. Yeah. Jason, you're a book reader. Has this yeah. one come across oh, your... Uh... Yeah, it, like, it was on the bestsellers list um, for, for a while. Oh. I, I'm on Goodreads right now and I want to read some reviews from some people. Mm. Um first one i came across and this is the most popular review it came up top of the list um like so many people i read this book because my book club chose it unlike so many people i'm not impressed not even a little bit a lot of the times when the book is rated this high i tend to think it's me and not the book but no this time i fully believe it's the book 
and I'm skipping a little paragraph there, but I should have known things weren't going to go well from the title alone. Crayfish are all over the place, but they don't sing in any of those places. So that's the most popular review on Goodreads. Weird. Um, but then I looked up like right. most current reviews and whatnot, and this one jumped out. Uh, so much has been... Oh, sorry, that was a one out of five stars. This one is a little bit more positive, five out of five stars. So much has been written about this book that a detailed review by me is unnecessary. Simply... A very good place of, uh, sorry, a really good piece of literature with excellent development of characters, a well woven plot, and some surprising surprises. No surprise, surprisingly. Um, <laughs> I hate it when people try and be smart. Um, glad I read it and will now go to see the movie. So yeah, look, look, nice. I um, I saw that book across my bookstore um, shelf so many times. Like I didn't didn't really care for it because it didn't really seem like my type of thing um mm. i'm still not really convinced it's really going to be my type of thing either so I, i'm not uh, i don't know i love yeah, I looking know. at um film reviews that do the same thing try and be really smart and there's one right here on the front page of the google search for this movie it says this movie is cheesier than a quattro from your from Argy, which is like a four, <laughs> four cheese pizza, four cheese pizza. <laughs> but, and then it says he does another one he does them back to back like the backdrop of this film Marshall Swamp it's all a bit soggy oh wow <laughs> it's almost as bad as IGN's um, tagline in their reviews terrible terrible <laughs> just tell us what you think about the movie yeah. you don't have to come up with something super brilliant but that's what that, but that's what made you read that review isn't it Ben it is I'm making fun uh, of it yeah, but uh, quite yeah. no value to anyone though <laughs> So yeah, I don't know if I'll go watch this movie. Um, still well, I'll, I would recommend it. You yeah. Just go, just go look at Taylor Johnson's John Smith, please. Mm. Mm. What a bloody gem of a human. Mm. Uh, anyway, that is where the Crawdad's seeing it is in cinemas right now. Uh, though it might not be long until it is on streaming services. So we encourage that you don't miss this.